Okay, boys, just a quick one for you, but today I'm going to be showing you the church base you need to build if you're building a church in Daisy, either Cherno, Deer or whatever map you play on. As long as you've got a church like this that you can block off the back entrance, or even it doesn't have a back entrance, this is the type of base you need to build. Now, it has got a lot of secret hidey holes, a lot of secret stuff, and as you can see from the outside, granted I didn't chop down the trees, you can't actually see it's there. Now, we are placed just over here, south of Severgrad, Severgrad, which is a little bit nice uh, position for the server in between the trader and some military zones is a PvE slash PvP server. It doesn't really matter. This is the base you want to see. Unfortunately, the placement of the wall wasn't the best on the outside. But as you can see, I walked through the first door, tier two, and above and left hand side, you have the parking garage, which the parking garage does spawn the car just outside, just there. You don't have a parking garage, and you can always make a garage on the map. Now, just there, you have a window just behind me, which I should show you in a bit. Um, but there is your second door. This is your third door walking through here. And there's a window at the end of the corridor. Your fourth door just there. Another window to the right. Your fifth door, which is a garage door. Put that down. You've got your sixth door as well with the window, which we originally said at the start, which I just open it up. You can see you can get a nice, really nice angle if they breach through your first door. Then you go through, which is our seventh door, maybe. And you can see the garage door there and another window as well in case you need to kill them from here. There's no angle which they are safe in this entire base. There's always somewhere you can look at. Now, after this eighth door, this is the creme de la creme of this base. It forces people or intruders into the animation to climb over the staircase. Now, when we go through here, you've got another door into our main loot room and windows galore. This is the inside of all of the other windows you saw, so you can easily get angles on people stop, like stopping people from raiding. So as long as you're online, there's no way you get raided. But that's not even it. There's even better angles. If we come up this ladder and jump up here, you have got this whole whole little pixel peak across the whole of the two corridors three corridors that you are seeing down and also because i've built this little l-shaped wall area you can shoot down into the animation when they get stuck without getting shot in the back now you can get shot through certain walls in this server but some servers you can't so i'd have a look and you jump through the last two two doors i think that's nine doors maybe ten let me know in the comments i'm not 100 percent sure and you got this whole open area which i didn't even didn't even touch in this um before uh, the wipe happens and before we stop playing on this server. But as you can see, it is very, very defensible. As long as you're online, you can do whatever you want. You can This whole area, you can do whatever you want. As long as you're online, you are not getting raided. Pretty much, they must have a mad clan. Um, but everything, you're not, they're just not gonna, they're not gonna stop you. There's windows galore, there's pixel galore, there's so much stuff. Like I said, I didn't even show you this window. This window also goes into the um, to the forced animation. Now, some servers do not allow you to do a forced animation, do not allow um, you to exploit that. But if they do jump into... Let me close that door real quick. Um, if you do jump into the animation, you can't retaliate. So here, I'm not shooting, I'm not climbing over, and you can't shoot the person there. Um, like I said, you can shoot through walls on this server, but some servers don't allow it. Um, jumping up onto here, you can't shoot back, but they will easily be able to shoot you. And if they don't shoot you through that window, they shoot you on the left window. And if they shoot, don't shoot on your left window, then they'll shoot you up top. That's just to show how quickly it, uh, how long it takes in order to uh, jump and then shoot. And then, once again, that whole area is completely blocked off, so you can easily defend it. This is the creme de la creme of the whole base. You can open that door up if you really wanted to in order to stop a line of sight, um, but I don't know if you would really want to. But there is your main angle. This is That was one of my favourite angles, to be honest, when trying to defend this base. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage defending this base. Um, what's really good about the server we were playing on is that raiding is only on weekends, so we could... Um, basically allow for a smaller time period so it's more likely to, to be able to counter raid somebody unfortunately I don't have that footage for you today but hopefully with the next base that I'm building which is on Deer Isle uh, and and showing you that one that we should get some online raids and defended uh, because it's on a weekend I'm not really on so yeah, I'm just showing you that angle again. It's very, very easy to defend. And as we work our way back out, you can see that it is a very, very strong base. I'm going to leave all the doors open here just so I can get out quickly. But you can see how strong it is. And if they are on the inside, 
and uh, there's no way they can dismantle outwards unless they're all the way in but as you can see again i'm just going to run around you cannot see anything about this base apart from the little flagpole sticking up at the end but if you didn't if, if you don't make this mistake that i did and put it in the middle of the church they won't even see the flag the only thing they'll see is the chop down trees uh, if you drop them down uh, if you have farm outside some servers like i said don't have the farm and certain pieces of wood that stick through the floor a wall but if you just place them better because i didn't place them the best i kind of threw the, some of this base up and it couldn't be bothered to be honest to go back and fix all of those little mistakes you will be completely hidden nobody will know you're here now if you did want to get raided or you do want to see those counters then you can build a box just outside with a little tower and people will definitely know you're here but it is a very very nice secret base we did get attempted to get raided a couple of times just showing you through some of our gear here um, as it's pretty much a starter base with how much uh, loot we have we don't have that much but as long as you're online, you will not get raided, pretty much. You can use as crap gear as we have, as rubbish gear as we had in this situation, and you will not get raided. You can make it hidden, you cannot make it hidden, but we had a very, very nice li a lifespan on this server. We did, like I said, att attempted to get raided twice. Uh, once when we were on, once when we were offline, and neither were successful. I would love to show you the footage on here, but unfortunately we don't have it. That is probably where we're going to end today's video. Make sure you make this, uh, if you do have BBP, BBP Plus uh, base building, then make sure you have a look. Even take this as inspiration. If your servers, always, always, by the way, check the server rules to see if you can force players into animations. Um, that means that they have to do an animation in order to get from one party base to another uh, that can be a vaulting that can be ladders that can be so many different things um it could it could really be anything but that is where we're going to leave today's video thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe like if you like this like this like all my socials and links which are in the description below case for everything always till next time peace